Hello, people of the internet. My name is Francis Ramos. I am a petroleum engineering student and welcome back to my channel where I break down oil and gas concepts to help you become a better petroleum engineer. Today we'll be going over the life of a well and decline curve analysis. So when a well is being produced, it goes under several stages. There's primary recovery, where the only forces that are moving oil is from Mother Nature. Uh, there's secondary recovery, where man-made forces are being used for the first time, like water flooding or artificial lift. In, and then there's tertiary recovery, which is a follow-up to secondary recovery and is usually until the end of the well's economic life. And between each of these phases, there are economics involved where um, the company determines whether or not it is economic to drill. Once the well is deemed uneconomical to produce anymore, the well gets shut in and the company moves on. For the purposes of this video, let's focus on primary recovery. So typically, the production profile of a well looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it's right over time on a linear plot. Um, you have that not not completely clean, but jagged curve uh, going down. And um, what if I told you that from this already produced graph, we can actually use this data to create a forecast that predicts uh, the, predicts the production profile of the well, even though we haven't even reached that period of time yet. The only way to create a forecast is understanding whether or not the well is exponentially declining. And there are equations that you can use for exponential decline, and in order to do that, you really need to know if the well is exponentially declining. To know whether or not the well is exponentially declining, you need to look at two graphs rate versus cumulative production, and rate versus time on a semi-log plot. For rate versus cumulative production, it should look like this. In this graph, you can see that it's a linear relationship declining all the way down. And just because you know that the relationship is linear, you know for a fact that the well is exponentially declining. The reason why I say rate versus time on a semi-log plot is because on a linear plot, rate versus time, that curve doesn't really tell you whether or not it is exponentially declining. It just tells you the finer details on a linear plot. However, if we go to our y-axis and create a semi-log, uh, create a logarithmic scale on our rate, we should have a straight line that's very similar to the slope of the rate versus cumulative production. You know that this is declining linearly, so you know that it is exponentially declining. And once we confirm that, now we can go ahead and use our decline curve analysis problems to figure out the decline rate per year, to find time, to find our um, and not find our flow rate at a specific time. When it comes to creating a forecast, from this we can actually develop a cumulative production, an estimated cumulative production, without even drilling the well. So, just like that, that is the end of this video. I hope this video helped. If it helped, please let me know in the comments down below or leave me a like. Uh, it really helps out. Any feedback I get, I will try to take it and put it back into the show and make it better. Until next time, this is Francis. I will see you in the next video. Peace.